Hi friends, in this video I want to explain some shortcut tricks and formulas on simple interest. Solving simple interest problems using percentage method is quicker than normal methods. Let us see the shortcut tricks and formulas. In simple interest problems, always assume principal equal to 100% and simple interest equal to time into rate per annum percent and total amount equal to principal plus simple interest equal to 100% plus simple interest percent. Let us see one example and some formulas. Let us see some formulas. These are the formulas we can use in less time to solve in less time. See this example. A man borrows 4000 rupees from a bank for a period of 3 years at the rate of 15% per annum. Then what is the amount to be repaid to the bank? Here according to the above method, shortcut method, always we have to assume principal amount equal to 100%. And here simple interest equal to 3 years for 3 years at the rate of 15%, simple interest becomes 15 into 3 that equal to 45 percent 45 percent we have to pay the here they are asked what is the amount to be repaid to the bank therefore the amount equal to principal plus simple interest that equal to 100 percent plus 45 percent that equal to 145 percent we have to calculate we have to find 145 percent is how much here we know here 100 percent equal to 4000 and 145 percent equal to how much like that we have to calculate by cross multiplying we get 5800 as the total amount to be repaid see one more example in six years a certain sum amounts to 11 1105 rupees at five percent at simple interest what is the sum we have to calculate principal amount principal 100 percent is how much we have to calculate According to above shortcut trick, simple, simple interest equal to for 6 years at the rate of 5%, that equal to 6 into 5 equal to 30%. Here total amount is given, that is rupees 1105 rupees, that is principal plus interest equal to, that is 100% plus 30% equal to 130% is given. Here one we, have, we know 130% equal to 1105 rupees and then we have to find 100% equal to how much by cross multiplication we get 850 rupees as principal amount see one more example simple interest on an amount after 24 months at the rate of 2% per quarter is 960 rupees what is the sum here we have to observe the rate of interest is given per quarter we have to convert that into per annum Per annum we have 4 quarters so multiply these 2 percent into 4 therefore per annum we, we get 8 percent per annum as rate of interest. So simple interest equal to for 2 years we have to calculate that is, that is 2 into 8 equal to 16 percent. Here this 16 percent amount is given simple interest is given. So 16 percent is, is equal to 960 then what is the sum always we have to assume 100 percent as principal amount. So we have to calculate 100 percent equal to how much by cross multiplying we get 6000 rupees as answer see one more example simple interest of money rupees 300 after five years in next five years if the principal is tripled what will be the total interest at the end of tenth year First 5 years we have simple interest is 300 rupees. Next 5 years new principal amount is tripled. So 3p equal 3p. We'll, always we have to remember that when principal triples the simple interest also triples. This is the rule. So uh, new simple interest equal to 3 into 300 that is 900. So total interest equal to first for first 5 years 300 and uh, next 5 years 900 the total interest becomes 1200 
see here at certain a certain sum amounts to rupees 600 in 3 years and to rupees 750 in 5 years at simple interest what is the sum for this type of problems we have to calculate this by using formula if a sum if a sum amounts to a1 in t1 years and a2 in t2 years then rate of interest becomes 100 into a1 minus a2 divided by a1 into t2 minus a2 into t1 by this we can calculate rate of interest if we know the rate of interest we can calculate the principal amount also at some rate at simple interest a certain sum amounts to 1120 rupees in 4 years and 1200 in 5 years then what is the sum this also using this formula we can calculate rate of interest equal to by substituting these values a a1 is 600 and t1 is 3 years and a2 is 750 and t2 is 5 years by substituting these values we get this answer 115 to 100 15 ones 15 fives that is rate of interest equal to 20 percent here sum amounts to 600 here we don't know we have to find out the principal amount we have to calculate 100 percent equal to how much we have to calculate we know amount equal to principal amount plus principal plus simple interest that is principal is 100 percent and simple interest is 20 into 3 that is 60 percent 160 Here we have 160, 160 percent equal to 600 rupees. We have, we have to find out the principal amount that is 100, 100 percent equal to how much by cross multiplication. We can solve this. By cross multiplication, we get the actual principal amount is 375 rupees. Like this, we can calculate these type of problems by using this method. Here, see one more problem. Here, a certain sum amounts to rupees eleven twenty in four years. That means a one is eleven twenty and t one is four years and a two is twelve hundred and t two is five five years. Then rate of interest by substituting these values in in this formula, we can calculate the rate of interest. If they ask to find out the actual sum by this method, we can calculate the actual principal amount also. See one more problem. On what sum is the difference between the simple interest for six years and at six percent per annum, and for four years at four percent per annum is the difference between two simple interest rate is given that is five hundred. We have to calculate the principal amount. Um, let us assume principal amount equal to hundred percent. In all problem, in every problem, uh, the principal amount should be hundred percent. so here um as shown in the shortcut method shortcut trick simple interest equal to time into rate per annum percent so use this form this method here 6 years into 6% so simple interest equal to 36% and second simple interest 2 is 4 into 4 16% the difference is given that is 20% Is 500 rupees. We have to calculate the principal amount. 100 100 percent is how much? By cross multiplication, we get 2500 as principal amount. See this problem here. The principal amount is 800 rupees. That becomes 956 in three years. Principal amount 100 percent is given, and the total amount is given. For three years, we have to find out the rate of interest. By this, here in this shortcut trick, we have the simple interest equal to time into rate per annum percent. Here, time is given. Time is given that is three years and three or uh, three into rate of interest equal to one fifty six. The rate of interest is equal to Actual amount minus principal amount that is one fifty six. 
by this we can calculate the rate of interest is 54% if the rate of interest is increased by 4% that means 52 plus 4 if the rate of interest becomes 50 56% now what amount will 800 becomes in 3 years here time is also given so 56 into 3 simple interest equal to 56 into 3 that means 3618, 3515, 168, 168 percent. By cross multiplication, we get 2144 as principal amount, 2144 as actual amount. So answer. See one more problem. Here a sum of money triples itself in 16 years at simple interest. What is the rate of interest? Here we have to use this formula. If a sum of money becomes x times in t years at simple interest, then rate of interest be is equal to this formula. Here x times means 3 times triples itself. So 3 times and t equal to 16 years by substituting these values we get 12 and half as answer see this problem varun borrows 1500 rupees from a lender he pays interest at the rate of 12 percent per annum for one loan and rate of interest 14 percent for another loan here <coughs> actual principal amount is um, divided into two parts and given for interest at two different interest rates actual principal amount P1 plus P2 equal to 1500 for 12% of he has given some amount and for 14% he has given some amount but the total interest is 186 so by solving these two formulas equation 1 and equation 2 we get the P1 value we have to find out interest paid at the end of the year is 186 rupees he much how much does he borrow at 12 percent per annum 12 percent per annum is 1200 rupees